Hey y'all, what's up? It's John with Superfly, besuperfly.com. Today's tutorial, we're gonna quickly show how to adjust the position of a background video. Um, a lot of times, you know, we, want the back, we don't have to do much with the background video. Like for example, here on this site, this is nice and big. I don't mind that it's showing it from the top of the video. Um, Cause I got all the space to work with, that's great. Or same with like this video where it's just, there's so much room that I don't have to really about worry about positioning it. But let's say you have a smaller section that's not as tall that you want to use a background video on. And you can see that that shot's okay, but this shot, I'm, I'm really missing some content down there. And if I go and look at the video here. To encourage leaders through our... You can see that that light's way at the top. And I, and I kind of want to show more of the three of them there. Um, and so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So what I've done here is I've gone into my section and I've added a, a, a class of po or an ID of podcast video. Now, if you're going to do this multiple spots on the page, I would use a class instead. Um, and so instead of, so when we go to write our CSS, instead of writing number sign podcast, you would write dot podcast if you decide to use a class. But anyway, so here, all we're going to have in here is podcast video like so, and it's a ID. So when we, yeah, so when we reference it in CSS, we'll use the number sign. And then um, you might be wondering, what's the Stevie Background Plus? This is a plugin that we sell on our website that allows to have solid color overlays or gradient overlays on top of your parallax images um, and background videos. Divi does, Divi allows you to do it on parallax now by utilizing the background gradient. You got to go down here and turn this on and um, let me go ahead and copy this and get rid of this so you can see what it does up here, right? It's kind of hard to read. But one nice thing on Divi is you'd have to go turn this on. You have to turn this on here. And let's say you want a black overlay over the whole thing, like a 50% overlay over the whole thing. You have to go in to both sides here, choose black for both sides, and then choose the opacity for both sides. Um, I think that takes too long. With our, with our plugin here, you can just go to the color, a solid color, and then just pull this down where you want. Boom. Piece of cake. So easy, so easy to, to do. So I'm going to go back here and just reapply this. So that's what this is doing. It's, it's adding a little bit of darkness up here to make this menu easier to read. So again, there it is with it, and then without, take a look up at the top, there it is without. So just a little bit of color there to make it easier to read. So that's what that is. All right, so let's go to the front of my page. You can see that it's showing my video from the very top. And if I inspect this, I can see here's my podcast video ID section here. And if I can, here's my, my video here, which is being cut off by the section. But if we go in to this guy right here, this div ID, MEP0 class, all these classes, we're gonna use this MBJS-video class, that's what we're gonna use. But you can see out on the screen, there's a blue blue box that ends right around here. And that's actually the whole video. So it's showing the video behind, every, behind that section that's hiding it. And we wanna move the video up the page. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna Give this MEJS dash video class. We're gonna um, we're gonna say, hey, go up the page negative twenty five percent or thirty three percent, and you can see what that's done. That's taken that blue area and scooted it up, and now we have more people in the shot. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. So let me go ahead and my. So here's, here's the code we're going to use to do it, but let's just do this first one. So I'm going to go into my CSS area here on the page. Now, normally I would add this in in the Divi theme options area, but since it's a tutorial, I'm fine with adding it just to this page. Okay, so here we go. I put that in, podcast video, go to that video thing, raise it 33%, up the page, negative. I'm going to go ahead and save this. refresh out here and it's like oh sweet it works great awesome but you'll see if I go to my iPad view here 
um, or my Divi tablet view. Divi tablet view at 980 is fine, but the last part, so Divi's tablet view is from 768 pixels to 980 pixels. So at 980, it's fine. But if I go down to, you know, 768, I got the space down here and that's not going to work. So this is the, the very edge of Divi's tablet area. And so you see that that 33% is not going to work. Let's uh, move it around, you know, 20, 25% that might work. I'm actually fine with 20%. I think I like that where it sits better. So negative 20 for the tablet. So here's our desktop, negative 33. Right here, this is our tablet. So when the browser hits 980, it's going to change it from negative 33 to negative 20. And then Divi hits the, as I mentioned, the end of the tablet range for Divi is 980 at the top, 768. Once it goes to 767, it's going to go into the mobile mode. So if I go down to a small phone here, and let's say I, uh, I keep it at negative 20, you can see that my video's here. I got a background image here just in case, but the video's up here that's too tall. And so I could, you know, I could try to dial this in exactly, but zero is, for my case, zero works perfectly. And so that's why here I've said, hey, once it hits, once it hits Divi's mobile, 767 and below, Let's just get rid of that. Let's do top zero. No more negative 20, no more negative 33. So that's the complete code. I'm going to hop over here and insert that in. All right, so there's our complete code. Boom, let's save it, test it, and then call it a day. All right, so let me turn this. Let me turn this to... Uh, responsive mode here so we can just pull this out i'm going to refresh great so on desktop it's sitting at negative 33 percent right there that's what we want looking good and then i get down to 980 watch, watch this number up here i get down to 980 and now divvy's in its tablet mode right and so now it's saying negative 20 instead of the negative 33 because we're in tablet mode now and then if I keep going past 767, so watch up here. Actually, I can just do this. So once it gets down to 767, it's going to kick into Divi's mobile mode. You saw the font sizes change. And now my deal set at zero, which most folks, mobile phones not going to be this big. They're going to be down. Here's a, you know, here's an iPhone Pro level. So great. So that concludes this tutorial on how to position a background video in Divi and then adjust it for desktop, tablet, and mobile. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. All right, y'all. Cheers.